Hi there. Now in this video what I want to do is talk to you about identity elements. Suppose we've got a binary operation, let's say defined by star here. So if there exists just one element E such that E star A equals A star E which equals A where A and E are members of the set of real numbers then E is called an identity element for the operation star. Think of it as an element that leaves the combination unchanged. Now you should already be familiar with common identity elements. For addition then the identity element is E equals 0. I'll show you by just taking an example. If we were to take any real number, let's say 3, 3 plus 0 is exactly the same as 0 plus 3 and it leaves the element 3 unchanged. We get back 3. Similarly for multiplication, the identity element E is 1 as we can demonstrate in a simple example. Again take any real number, let's say we take 5, 5 times 1 is exactly the same as 1 times 5. It leaves the element 5 unchanged. We get back 5. So an easy idea then. Now when it comes to finding identity elements in tables, as say in this example here, then it's very easy. But before I show you, just see if you can spot the identity element. I'll just give you a few moments to have a look. Well the method is to look for where the elements match the outer elements. So what I'm looking for is a row here that matches the top row up here and a column that matches the column on the outside here. And you should have found that it was this column here matches the outside edge here and it was this row through here that matches this row up here. So the identity element was in fact B at the intersection of these two lines. So we have the identity then, just write it in, the identity is equal to B and you can check out that if you were to combine, for instance, A combined with B, it would be exactly the same result as B combined with A, and you end up with A. It's an element that leaves any other element, when you combine it, unchanged. Now, I'll just border this off. And next, I want to look at finding identity elements when you're given a binary definition. For example, in this one, if we had A star B equaled A plus B plus 3, where A and B are real numbers, we've got to find the identity element E. Now you might want to have a go at this yourself, so I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, I'll show you the solution. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So, what I'd want to remember then is that when we do A combined with E, I would expect to get back A. So I'm going to substitute this into our definition here and solve the equation. But remember, I also need to show that it works the other way as well, E combined with A. So first of all then, working off this, for A combined with E, replacing the B with E, we therefore have A plus E plus 3 will equal the value A. And just subtracting A from both sides and subtracting 3 from both sides leaves us with E equaling minus 3. So do remember then we need to check to see whether it works the other way around and we get the same result. That is E combined with A should equal A. So in this example all we need to do is replace the A here with the E. If we do that we therefore have 
e plus a plus 3 equals the a. And again, solving for e here, we see that e equals minus 3. So that confirms then that therefore the identity element, okay, just write it in here, the identity e equals minus 3. So I hope you're able to get that. So that brings us now to the end of this particular video on identity elements. And in the next video, what I'll be looking at is something that's related to this as well called inverse elements.